with T-Mobile Internet. We have to search our zip code. And when we get the zip code, after we checked it already, and if you see here, it said 5G ultra capacity, we want to make sure that our area, our house, is in this dark purple. We're not sure we want to do extend it, so my house in Fremont and it's in the 5G ultra capacity. So that's why I ordered it. So make sure we're in here, so we can go down in here more, 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 more. We have to be in this dark purple. Okay, so this is a T-Mobile internet. It's a 5G gateway. We're gonna hook it up today and see what's gonna happen. Okay, we have one of these. And a beautiful gateway. Okay, so this one has two Ethernet and one USB and also the UPS connector. This is a beautiful unit. Okay, so this one is a quick connect and a power brick and Ethernet cable. Okay, so it also has the um, telephone input, which is nice. So let's turn on the power. I'm going to leave it downstairs and see if I can get the uh, signal or not. Now we have to download. Is it on? Yes, it's on. All right, let's use the uh, app and see. Okay, so we download the T-Mobile. Set up the device. So this is the gray one. Very confident. So scan the QR code at the bottom of the gateway. Okay. Connect to power. Already did. Next. Well, I turned it on like more than two minutes ago, so I just gonna skip it. Skip anyway. Uh, look at the screen on top. Yes. So we're gonna wait for five minutes, okay? Okay, we connect it. So we can change this one to T-Mobile. Mm. Okay, so it's done. So now we have three bars. So let's check the... Uh... So T-Mobile does not give you the exact system. So it said here, Mesh Wi-Fi 6 system is not connected, but we have 22 devices. Total is 26 connected, right? But the T-Mobile gateway Software does not give you anything, right? Wireless LAN, network, Wi-Fi, 2.4. Oh, you have to enter admin. They got so many SSID that you can use. Amazing. But I don't know why you need so many SSID. 18 or something. Unbelievable. But the real stuff they don't give you, which is the um, port forwarding. So let's see firmware upgrade. They don't even tell you what firmware you have on this one. Let's look at this. Software version. 1, 2, 1. Let's screen capture this one. Status. Online. So one thing about I like about this one is that it's unlimited data. So when the kids play over 1.2 terabyte, I don't get charged for it, oh. like uh, Comcast or you know whatever, Xfinity, right? Well, that's it. That is the option for the T-Mobile gateway. So you need 
and especially you need a mesh system if you want to run upstairs, downstairs, and also in the garden. So I use Orbi. Okay, so I put this one in the middle room, upstairs, next to the Orbi. Okay, here's a new Orbi mm -hmm. Netgear router mm -hmm. mesh. So what does it have? It's just a, it's just a router. Ooh. Ooh, they have four ports. That, here. And this one right here, also four ports. Where's the internet cable? Ethernet. Should I open this? Yes. Okay, so this is the uh, T-Mobile gateway. And the signal right now is pretty high, four bar. And here's how I hooked it up with the um, Orbi. So this is Orbi, and this one has two units. One I put up here in the upstairs, in the middle room. And I hook up the... Okay, so this is the satellite of the Orbi. This is the second unit. I put it uh, downstairs by the window too. Ethernet port to the internet of the Orbi. And then I set the Orbi as an AP, which is an access point. And you go to router mode, and you set to AP. That's it. And then it will use everything that we set up before, all the wireless. And the other Ethernet port, I ran through the other room through a hub. Gigabit hub. So I have to use a cable, it's called a CAT6. So it can run up to one gigabit per second. All the hub Ethernet cable have to be CAT 5E or CAT 6 to get high transmission. Of this house, and this is a 2300 square foot, the T Mobile Gateway and the Orbi is upstairs in the middle room. Okay. okay, let's test this one with the 2.4 G downstairs all the way in the corner. So this one is the uh, T-Mobile gateway. All right, so let's check with the uh, 5G T-Mobile gateway. Okay, so let's test with the Orbi, Orbi 5G. Okay, T-Mobile gateway and the Orbi is upstairs in the middle room. Let's test the 2.4G Orbi. Okay. I'm placing the uh, gateway right in the middle room here, and I'm gonna walk all the way to garden. So this is a 6,800 square foot lot. So I'm gonna test in the corner here. So now, we we'll look back, it's all the way in the other corner, okay? So let's stay right here and test. Let's shut this down. If you look, the Dock and Monkey 5G, which is the T-Mobile gateway, the signal is really weak. Gateway. So the 5G signal is really slow. Practically none. All right, let's stop this. From 5G to 2.4G. So to see if it's even connected. All right, so now we're at uh, Dark and Monkey, so no internet. All right, so let's stop here. So this is the 
the T-Mobile gateway in the backyard, okay? That's nothing. We're gonna use the Orbi as the uh, access point. So there is a 5G in the same corner. All right, so let's do a, a different one. We're gonna set to, uh, to the 2.4G. Okay, so the 2.4G seem to be better with the Orbi. So now we're gonna test using the Ethernet Gigabit Hub with the Cat 6 Ethernet cable to see how fast it can go. Okay. Okay, so there's the um, speed getting directly from the Ethernet ports of the gateway. It seems to be slower than the Ethernet speed of the Wi-Fi uh, from the Orbi. Hmm. Okay, so there's no port forwarding, but most of the devices now are using the server web server provider anyhow so i can live with it so now it has uh, a sign ip address for my gateway which i can use some of the feature So for fifty dollars a month, unlimited data, which my kid can play whatever they want, and the speed is over 150 megs, I'm happy.